On the ground in Ukraine, this war is widening. Lviv, a major city in western Ukraine, was hit by Russian missile strikes for the first time since the invasion began. Just 50 miles away, of course, is the border of Poland, where the U.S. troops are stationed and also where those 3.3 million refugees are now seeking shelter. Nazar Zinchuk is the executive editor of Lviv Lab, and he is joining us live from Lviv tonight. Uh, let's start there with those explosions in Lviv. For so long, we were hearing kind of a tale of different cities, some that were under siege, others that felt normal, pretty safe. Um, did that change today? Uh, actually, uh, it was the second attack on the Lviv region, and uh, for us in Ukraine, it's just the meaning that uh, Putin can hit us everywhere, so the Lviv region is not safe, it's not the place where you can stay and just uh, uh, keep your thoughts with you. You also need to be focused, you also need to remember that uh, uh, this uh, my, uh, this missile was uh, uh, shot from the Azov Sea. It's actually like more than uh, 1,000 kilometer. Uh, so this direction is, um, uh, I can say, it's it's pretty it's pretty dangerous that uh, Russia has such missiles and they just can hit each of the regions in Ukraine. Mm. So it's very, it's very, very dangerous. And that's why Zelensky is still speaking about the closure of the sky, because uh, uh, there is no more safety places in uh, Ukraine. Nazar, I know you're in training right now to join the fight in Kyiv, the capital. Uh, where are you in your preparations and how soon do you depart? Uh, now we are still in uh, Lviv. Uh, we are still fi uh, finding some uh, uh, refugees or some foreign uh, military guys who who uh, who create a one big unit and um, actually I can't say all the information but because of the consequences of this information of course. but uh, we I'm very glad I'm very glad to see here uh, uh, simple American military guys uh, or European guys because uh, as we can see from the yesterday's Zelensky speech in the Council of the USA. Uh, it's uh, it's all given nothing. So now we just all this uh, uh, all our speeches to American people is uh, also nothing because nobody's still hearing us and uh, it's very hesitating. And so everything what you can do now is just uh, come here and help us, a simple guy, and train here and fight with us side by side and uh, help to help all the raped women all my brothers, my sisters who are dying there every day, every second, even now, in this moment, uh, I actually think that one more guy has been killed. So uh, we just we just need to train to be prepared. And uh, uh, at one moment, uh, I guess this war will be ended, but uh, it's it's very long time to wait for this. At one moment, this will end. Um, I hope I hope it's soon. I pray it's soon. Uh, Nazar, I want to get your reaction. I don't know if you were just hearing uh, some of our reporting on the propaganda coming out of Russia, the disinformation. Um, I would like to get your thoughts on what Vladimir Putin said today uh, at that rally, eight years since the annex annexation of Crimea. He is claiming this is still a military operation to rid the Donbass region of what he says is genocide rather than what... Um, most know and and you and i know is a bloodbath and and war crimes when when you hear those words from vladimir putin and you're on the ground in ukraine and you've been living um in this environment for for year after year um how does that land with you to hear him say that today actually i'm just smiling because it's very funny to hear that it's so um, it's so stupid to hear that from um the man who must be a uh, very clever, who must understand that what he's doing and everything what he's saying now is just to say uh, his positions to stay uh, like a president of the Russia. And actually, we were hearing this uh, all these eight years. Now it's just uh, uh, now it hears all the words. And for us, it's just a simple uh, his simple words. And it's funny for us because we were listening all this. Uh, 
uh, things for all the eight years. So uh, we just don't mind about that because we have another problems. And we, we just understood that to speak with Russian people now, is uh, it's not important because uh, they probably, uh, they've been eaten by this propaganda and uh, they don't care what's happening here. Nazar, uh, Godspeed to you as, as you get closer to the front lines. And um, thank you, as always, for, for giving us uh, your perspective and a little bit of your time. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.